All right, you little cryptonauts, welcome back. It is 17 March 2022, and we are looking at the Ethereum mining profitability, the historical chart, and we are showing a little uptick at 0.0426 USD per day per one mega hash. So that is a good sign. So if we go in for a three month view, we can see it's kind of inching up a little bit. It was at 0 0.035 just yesterday. So that's a good sign it is inching up. So what can you make right now? What is the deal with crypto mining? Well, I'll just show you what I'm doing and you guys can take it from there and draw your own conclusions. Um, Yeah, so what do I do here? Oh, where am I at? I'm not gonna count CPU mining or Raptorium. That's basically, <clears throat> that is basically speculation mining right now. I am just stacking coins to Raptorium. And as I mentioned in my other videos, I put that into a smart node on inode Z and that does uh, compounding on rewards and just reinvest in Raptorium. It's pennies, it's pennies, it's pennies. It's it, again, it's all speculation. I did mine a few baby coin, about 700 baby coin just for the for shits and giggles. And um, yeah, again, that's all speculation, waste of electricity, but you never know. It's speculation, right? I'll say it again. I mean, just trying stuff. I don't know. At the point of the electricity and all this stuff and Raptorium, once I get to a certain amount, I just may, I just may stop the Raptorium, I mean, the uh, Raptorium mining, the CPU mining for a bit until I find something that's a little more profitable to help pay for this stuff. But I just don't want to be burning electricity for the sake of burning electricity. Um, I don't know. I'm just going back and forth on that. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this CPU mining stuff. All right, so let's go to ethermine.org. I am currently miner, mining ETH hash with why a full, full GPU line of uh, uh, computational power, whatever you want to call it. My, the, my, all, my, all my guns are now pointed at ethermine for this month. I don't know. I just wanted to stack some Ethereum, and this is where I'm at. I have six workers with a total reported of 1.1 giga hash. Uh, this, is your rep this is your hash reported by your miner to the pool. So I'm currently at six workers. I have an unpaid balance right now of 0 0.11379 ETH, and that's my estimated earnings in Ethereum. So what you do on an Ether mine is uh, you just set your, uh, pull your miner up. I'm using T-Rex miner, and I'm also using NB miner, why? Well, uh, this worker 11 happens to be all AMD 6600 XTs. The T-Rex miner doesn't work with um, AMD cards, so I use NB miner, and that's what I'm getting right there. This, uh, that is my main AMD rig right here. That is my main 6600 XT rig. The rest of the rigs on here are NVIDIA cards. Um, yeah, ah, uh, wait, I think this laptop, I think four, yeah. No, that's an NVIDIA card. Yeah, these are all NVIDIA cards. I'm just thinking these are laptops, but those are NVIDIA cards. Everything is NVIDIA except this worker here, 11. And that is, like I said, 6600 XT. I like those 6600 XTs. Why? Because they uh, draw, they run efficient. I get 32 mega hash and it draws about 60 to 70 watts. Um, and they run stable. I have no issues with these. AMD cards at all. The NVIDIA ones, sometimes you get some uh, crashes and that, but lately things have been running pretty smoothly. So I'm, I have it dialed in. I have a stable system. Sure, you can max out the overclocks, and but you're going to get blue screens on Windows and things will crash and you get um, NVIDIA errors and crap like that. Uh, I don't like that. I do mine. I do mine um, only Windows 10. I don't use Hive, o, Hive OS or NiceHash or any of those things because I just like controlling everything and I have no problem managing it. This way I can see all my workers. I use remote desktop to see all my uh, rigs and it, it works fine for me. I can see if I get, if I double my capacity, if I go up to two gig hash, I can see probably the benefit of using Hive OS. Okay, so what are we doing here? We got six workers. They are active. There is my address. If you want to send me some Ethereum, I'd appreciate it. I would love that, but you don't have to. Uh, let's see, I got a stale. Uh, number of sales shares submitted during the last hour. That's I don't know why that's kind of creeping up. I don't know what's going on there. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, it's working. But here you can actually go up here and um, see what your uh, unpaid balance is. And it kind of tells you nicely here. You have reached 57% of your configured payout. I think I did 0.2 ETH just to get paid out. So I would cut down on the number of transactions in my wallet for reporting taxable purposes. I just figured, eh, 
you know, once you get once I get paid out or uh, once a month or whatever, that's fine by me. And uh, the only bad thing is it stays on the Ethermine pool, and that becomes my wallet for a month until the uh, gas fee gets hit. I set it low, like 50, because I hate paying fees. All right, so you can see here I have 57% uh, of my configured payout threshold reach. I set it at point 0.2 to get paid out, but I also have a gas fee you have to set in order to get the money transferred from the Ethermine mining pool to your wallet. You pay a fee. If you're new to this, you pay a fee, and you will learn to hate fees. Usually Bitcoin, Litecoin, uh, other coins, anything off the Ethereum network, anything off the ERC network is a lot cheaper than Ethereum. It's kind of, it's, it is what it is. It's not a pleasant thing, but uh, sometimes you will wait weeks to get your money paid out from the mining pool to your wallet because the gas fees are really exorbitant, really high, and it's crazy. And it just sits there on Ethermine. And it's a risk because, you know, Ethermine can be hacked and you can lose everything you mine. You got to be careful. Always be careful with your, uh, with your crypto, the stuff you mine. The sooner you get it to a wallet, especially a hard wallet, the better off you are. Some of the stuff I mine, I do not sell. I do not sell any of it really right now. I've hold everything. I sold some stuff last year. And I regretted it. Uh, stuff I bought, but not mine. Uh, the thing is, I want to get interest, compounded interest on the Ethereum I mine, and that's what I do with some of it. The rest goes to a hard wallet. So that's where I'm at right now. 1.1 giga hash, and we can actually click on this, and we will see the different. Um, Oh, the different units. So that's 321 bucks. It gives you an idea what that is uh, mined at point one. Um, oh, God, I totally forgot already. There's Bitcoin. That's the equivalency of Bitcoin mined. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. So 0 0.11388 right now is 321.22 mined thus far. So by the time I get my payout, I should be close to 700 schmackaroos. USD, but again, I'm not going to sell it. That's just the fair market value in USD. And uh, again, it stays in Ethereum. It goes to my wallet. Uh, here's my daily. This is looking better. It was usually in the 30, 35 a day ago. My estimated daily earnings. This is your estimated earnings, which are calculated using your average hash rate over the last 24 hours. If your hash rate changes, it can take some time for this value to add. Just so there you go. That is how it works. So with 1.1 giga hash, I am getting now, which is better, 40, 43 a day, which you know comes to what I am bad at math. Public math scary. Public math bad. I went to public school, and that is the reason I can't do public math. Wow, 212 bucks right now as we speak. And again, I showed you that the profitability index is shooting up which is good, 0 .4, 0 0.0426 from 0 0.035. And what is the market at? Blammo, we are broke 40K on Bitcoin, 41. You just saw it flip right there. And Ethereum is still below 3,000. Now the Wozniak came out. He still likes to see Bitcoin. He's hoping, he thinks it's going to get to 100K because of just the interest in it. There is such interest in it. And the math is pure. He even warned, don't go after these altcoins because the math is pure with Bitcoin. The altcoins in that, whenever you see them throwing celebrities and uh, these uh, phony influencers, that stuff, run, 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 run away, man. It's all just there to take your money and leave you holding the bag of altcoin crap. You don't want to do that. Look at ship, ship coin and all that crap. You know, they run it up and then it runs back down and you're like, oh, wait, I bought it the all time high. Yeah, you just got you just got punked. You know, you just got, you just lost your money. You're holding a bag of nothing. So you got to watch that. Stick with the top four, you know, stick with the Bitcoin. Just stick with Bitcoin. That's my advice, man. It's not financial advice, but that's worked well for me. It is the king. It has the pure math and it doesn't have all these phony influencers trying to sell it to you. It just is what it is. So that is where we're at. It gives you an idea of what you can make mining based on my setup, mostly NVIDIA cards. Uh, I have not got my ROI, and again, I did. I was the fool. I, I dumped a lot of money into buying cards. I used retail bots to get the cards at MSRP, but still, I am underwater yet. I probably won't have an ROI. I started last September. I'm hoping at least a year, a year and a half at this rate. Depends on how things go. So I did make the uh, the big mistake of dropping a lot of bucks in, but I had the money. It wasn't on loan or anything. I just said I'm going to get into this. And um, the regrets are that I should have trickled in 
and as I made money, use the money I mined maybe to buy the cards to cut down on my exposure to investing. So you got to watch that. Do not buy any of this crap, you're, uh, you know, and go so far deep. You're like, oh, crap, I'm never going to get my return on investment because that's always not a good feeling. I don't mind. I think I'm going to get it eventually. And if anything, I'm holding the coins and I believe the coins will go back up. And that's why I'm kind of trying to stack Ethereum right now because I think it's going to go up. And uh, maybe I can get some money out of that and say, boom, paid off my rig. Now I can just start taking pure profit. And if anything, if you really hate mine, you can always just then start selling your GPUs on eBay or or um, what's that other one? Not eStock. Oh, I forgot the other one. StockX. You can sell it on there or sell it locally. But be careful of local sales because you never know who you will meet. People are just crap today. You got to be careful. So in-person selling is not a, it's not a good thing sometimes. All right. That is it. We are sitting good. Things are mining. Profitability has gone up 1.1 looking good. I do not want to add anything right now to my rigs. I don't want to spend any more money, even though I see prices are actually coming down on the 6600 XT, 1660 Supers, the lower cards that people aren't really after. I'd just rather get, I'd be happy getting a bunch of 1660 Supers at this point. You know, they uh, don't draw much power, you know, 70 watts, and you give about 32 mega hash. Same with the 6600 XTs. Uh, I do have a bunch of CPU rigs, which are just burning electricity, wasting and I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So I know I got to get a second fan on my grow tent because it's getting hot in here and I need to get more air out of here. I got one eight inch fan. I need to get another six inch fan on there to help just get that negative pressure and suck the heat out of that tent and expel it outside. And there's the update, guys. There is what you can make based on my setup. 1.1 giga hash, mining Ethereum, NVIDIA cards, T-Rex miner, NB miner with the grow tent. And I don't know what else to tell you. Is mining profitable? Yeah. But again, don't go all in. Don't drop 10, 20K on all this stuff. Uh, just buy one or two cards and then maybe dual purpose it. Get a laptop with a decent um, graphics card. That way you can use the laptop for other stuff and then you get sick of mining or other than you use it for gaming or finances or work or whatever. Don't just buy a card and buy the rig stuff. Yeah, if you're hesitant. And if you are, look at the riserless motherboards and uh, you can just slap GPUs on top of these motherboards, like eight of them. Boom, you're good to go. And that saves you a lot of money in buying, buying risers, cables, power supply stuff. I mean, one less thing to power, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, and you don't have to worry about hanging racks and rigs. You just put this stuff on a board and you're good to go. All right, lots of knowledge. Probably just confused you. But you can make money mining. I mean, just start small. Get a laptop. Get a gaming PC. Then just start adding, adding to it. If you have a gaming PC with... Um, at least three PCIs, you can always get an extender, a splitter, one to four. I have a 2014 gaming PCI built with an ASRock motherboard, has three PCI slots. I have uh, six GPUs running off that. I had no problem getting that thing to mine at all. The thing is beauty. The older tech seems to work best for me. Uh, I slap in a one to four PCIe splitter, and I am that thing is churning. It's right here. It's number one. I'm getting 200, almost 200 mega hash on that puppy. From 2014 tech, CPU, Intel chip, a, uh, yeah, and just probably, what, 8 gigabytes of memory, if that, not that that matters, but the thing's working great. I love it. And it's in a box in the case. I just took off the sides, and I put it in my grow tent, and how the air flows through it. It just shows you. You can scavenge stuff and start mining. All right, I'm out. Uh, a little bit long on the video. Let me know what you guys are mining, if you're mining anything. If you have any tips on CPU mining, let me know. And I'm just stuck on this Raptorium stuff. And I just want to get a certain level and then I'll be done. I might just turn off these CPUs for now since they are just burning electricity. But um, once I get to my level, Raptorium, I'll be happy. And then maybe go to Monero, Ocean, or find some other coin I can speculate on. I just don't know what's out there. I did the baby and I did Raptorium. Who knows? All right, I'm out. Take care.